Now, finish this well-known phrase. Men are from Mars, women are from... If you're about to answer Venus, you'd be wrong, apparently. They're from Mars as well, or both, as are most of us. Scientists have examined almost 1,400 human brains, so they've failed to find any significant differences between the two sexes. So any idea that men might have the map reading and parallel parking wiring has been rubbished, as has any concept of female flair when it comes to multitasking. Five's Minnie Stevenson is here. To tell us more, Minnie. I say I'm very good at multitasking. But anyway, more on that in a minute. This is big news for anybody that's had an argument, as you say. And you say, you know, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. You know, that's all over. Unfortunately, we can't wheel out that cliche anymore. This is the first study that looks at the brain overall in terms of gender. It's by Tel Aviv University. And they've actually found that of 1,500, sorry, 1,400 brains that they looked at, only 6% could you actually tell the gender. So big, big study looking at that. In fact, the scientists have described it as a mosaic of brain. It's like a mishmash of male and female. So male and female brains in that sense don't exist. So I'm always sort of saying, you know, I'm terrible at map reading. It's because I'm a woman. Uh, actually, no, I'm just terrible at map reading. It's because of me. So I've had to take that on the chin today, which has obviously been deeply distressing news for me and hard to take in. So why then do we sometimes sort of say that, you know, men are better at parking, which yeah. they're not, by the way, um, and all of those kind of things. Apparently, we can have this war in a minute. Apparently, it's all down <laughs> to psychologists say social conditioning. And this is what they have to say. I think loads of people will be surprised because most people assume that men are from Mars and women are from Venus, but of course that's not true at all. It's actually more to do with social conditioning, that you actually uh, assume that a boy is going to behave in a particular way and that a girl is going to prefer to play with dolls. And are you good at reverse parking? I'm brilliant at reverse parking because I've lived in London for so long, but I'm also brilliant at making cupcakes and reading maps. Many stay with us. I'm a very good listener, as it happens. Let's get more <laughs> views on that with me now. You might have spotted, if you can multitask, our Camilla Turner, who's covering the story for The Telegraph, and comedian Dominic Holland. Camilla, are you surprised by this or not? Um, I think whilst, you know, that there's the, the catchphrase, men are from Mars, women are from Venus, yeah. we, all, we do know that that is, to an extent, stereotyping. Um, but I think this study really does set out the science which shows that men and women's brains really aren't so different. But the, but the interesting thing the scientists did was they looked for male and female traits. So they were sort of pushing the idea that there are such a thing when perhaps there aren't at all. Exactly. So they divided the brain up into different regions and found that while some regions um, had lots of commonality between men or between women, other regions were a complete mishmash mm. and that the brain as a whole had so many different regions going on that there was no way to tell one group from the other. Dom, the interesting thing in Camilla's piece is that uh, one of the scientists is quoted saying this is largely a physical study. Sure. It doesn't tell us anything necessarily about how brains work and how no. the idea that we are male or female, or sure. perhaps somewhere in between, informs the way we think, not our biology. Well, I think it's one of those, it's, it's part of the same study that we are obsessed with finding out or getting rid of the differences between men and women. Yeah. And I think we're worried about the fact that we are different and that's not very comfortable for people. I mean, so you think this is nonsense then? Well, I mean, who are these scientists and what, how have they got the time to do this? I mean, <laughs> just, just to say, just to, to quote the, the Professor Daphne from Tel Aviv University, they cannot study a brain and discern whether it's male or female. And to quote, he says, it's much easier to look at the genitals. That's what he says. I mean, this is a professor, surely. I mean, you know, where do you... They do make some quite interesting points about gender as well. They do sort of say that, you know, it, we don't necessarily have to have single-sex schooling. The fact that, obviously, there is the physicality, which we all know we don't need to talk about, you know, no. we do look different in that respect. But there are some quite interesting points to be made about gender, that we are constantly looking at things in terms of binary opposites. And that was yes. something that some critics have said is quite interesting. But, but there is an... But, but I, I think that the point remains that we are different. And, and, and that is the reality. Uh, and, and I think, th I think the sort of explaining away and scientific away of that doesn't help because we're there's a great synergy between men and women. Yeah. And we should celebrate our differences. Just to further your point, Dom, actually, I mean, there is an argument that a lot of men don't just think with their brains, of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Camilla, with, with, the, with these stereotypes, though, a lot of us sort of rely on them as crutches, don't we, to sort of explain our behaviour. Oh, we're, we're having, you know, we're being a bit blonde or we're having a senior moment. Do we, do we sort of fulfill these prophecies then? Exactly. I mean, if you are a man who was having problems with map reading, you might explain it away saying, oh, it's because I'm a man. Whereas actually, if it was a woman, you might not use that stereotype, but you're experiencing the exact same problem. So to an extent, it can become self-fulfilling prophecies. Do you think we need differences? Um, I think differences can be easy. People use them as a tool to explain things and to simplify things. But 
obviously things are much more nuanced than that and you can use quite a broad sweeping statement to try and explain something that's actually very specific to each individual. Dom, you must have some traits that you think well, might be a bit more on the female spectrum. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, talking about brains, I'm well out of my comfort zone anyway, because I haven't got a very big one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, my, I, 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 have, I have empathy, but I, I, I think, um, I mean, I have four boys, and had I given them dolls to play with as kids, yeah. they'd use them as swords. Well, I have two girls, they're... and I'm very comfortable with the colour pink these days yeah. as, a, as a result of that. I mean, I'm sure it suits you, man. Ty- well, yes, I wear pink ties. It's just a tyranny of pink. Um, what about you, Camilla, and you, Minnie, as well? Do you have any sort of more male traits that you can relate to? Um, I mean, I am terrible at map reading. OK. <laughs> I've been Tick. told I'm a bad communicator. Can I just say... By you're... some exes. <laughs> you shall remain nameless. <laughs> well, they're wrong, aren't you? Yeah, they you're, are wrong. You're doing the job very Thanks well. Thanks very indeed. much. Uh, thank heavens they weren't uh, mentioned on your CV when you applied for the job of correspondent at Five News. Thank you all very much indeed. I think we haven't settled a thing, have we? 